Hello students, welcome to 4th weekly class 4th subject science. Today I am going to explain you our new topic how plants survive. So let's start. Like plants, animals have also developed certain features which help them to survive in their environment. For example, dinosaurs. Types of animals Animals can be divided into two groups based on the presence or absence of a backbone. Animals without backbone, they are called invertebrate animals. Here in this picture you can see the examples of invertebrate animals. And animals with a backbone, they are called vertebrate animals. Here in this picture you can see some examples of vertebrates animal. Animals without a backbone, invertebrate animals. Animals that do not have backbone are called invertebrate animals. For example, spider, scorpion, worms, slug and snail etc. are examples of invertebrate animals. Insects have six legs and their body is divided into three parts head, thorax and abdomen. Most insects have hard outer covering made up of material called chitin. A few insects such as mosquitoes and butterflies can fly. Animals with a backbone, vertebrate animals. Animals that have a backbone are called vertebrate. They can be divided into smaller groups. Fish. This group consists of large variety of animals that live in water. They breathe through gills. They have fins to swim. Their body is covered with scale. Example, mackerel and shark and cod. Amphibians. Animals that can live both on land as well as in water are called amphibians. Most of them breathe through lungs and the moist skin. For example, frog, toad and newt. Reptiles. These animals live mainly on land. They have scaly skin and reproduce by laying eggs. For example, lizard, snake and crocodiles are reptiles. Fish and amphibians and reptiles are cold-blooded animals. This means that their body temperatures changes in the large temp in the temperature of their surroundings. Birds. The body of birds are very light and covered with feathers. They have wings which help them to fly. For example, crow, sparrow and eagle. Some birds that cannot fly due to their heavy body such as ostrich, kiwi and penguin. They are called flightless birds. Mammals The group of animals that give birth to babies are called mammals except the platypus and spiny anteaters. The body is covered with hair and the mother circles their young ones. Most mammals breathe through lungs and have four limbs. Birds and mammals are warm-blooded animals. This means that their body temperature remains constant despite changes in the temperature of their surrounding. For example, human, elephant, goat, horse, cow, dog and cat. Where animals live? Animals are found everywhere on land, 
on tree flying in the air and in water some animals are found on both land and water based on the where animals spend most of their time they can be grouped into terrestrial arboreal aquatic and amphibians terrestrial animals animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals they have features suitable for life on land they have legs which help them to walk on land they have uh, most of them breathe through lungs the climatic condition also vary on the land it is cold on mountains and in polar region whereas it is very hot in desert a yak lives on the mountains and a polar bear lives in the polar region camel is found in desert animals such as seal penguin and walrus are adapted to living in freezing conditions they have thick layer of fat called blubber under their skin to keep their body warm some animals like bear frog and snake become inactive in cold winter months since the food is also scarce this this inactivity during winter month is called hibernation animals living in desert have very little hair on their body since there is lack of water in the desert these animals such as camel drink large amount of water at one time so that they can survive without water for many days slowing down of activity or settling down to a long sleep by some animals during the hot summer month is called estivation thus animals have adapted to live in different climatic condition aquatic animals animals live in water are called aquatic animals breathe through gills except whale and dolphin they breathe through lungs most aquatic mammals have fins or paddle to swim octopus turtle and crab are also aquatic animals amphibians we all know that animals live both on land as well as in water are called amphibians for example frog and toad the back leg of frog and toad are stronger than the front leg which help them to jump move on land and web feet of help them to swim in water arboreal animals animals live on trees are called arboreal animals they have sharp claws to climb up and down the branches and usually have strong muscular limbs and a tail for holding on the branches for example monkey and koala bear real animals animals that can fly and spend most of their time in air is called aerial animals the their hollow bones makes their body light they have one set of limbs modified as wings to fly the body shape of of aerial animal is such that they are able to cut through the air easily all birds except flightless belongs to this group but bat also form a part of this group the mass movement of birds from colder to warmer place is called migration what animals eat based on the type of food they eat animals can be divided into five main groups they are herbivores carnivores omnivores scavengers and parasites herbivores these animals that eat plants are called herbivores they have sharp teeth for biting and cutting and a very strong teeth for grinding this is because 
plant food needs to be chewed a lot as it is very rich in substance called cellulose carnivores animals that eat flesh of other animals are called carnivores they have sharp teeth for tearing up the flesh of its prey for example lion tiger and snake carnivores animals that eat both plants and animals they are called omnivorous animal for example bear human being etc scavengers some flesh eating animals like vulture and hyena feed the flesh of dead animals are called scavengers parasites some small animals get their food from other living organism they get their food by sucking the blood of their host such animals are called parasites they may live on or inside the body of their host for example fleas lice live on the body whereas the tapeworm roundworm and hookworm lives inside the body adaptation for protection many animals have adapted well to the environment to protect themselves from the animals enemies animals like elephant and hippopotamus have thick skin to protect themselves from the hot climate some animals have very strong legs which help them to run very fast in danger for example deer some animals like some animals like chameleon zebra arctic fox polar bear and frog can trick their animal enemies because their body colors easily blends with their surroundings thus confusing their enemies this is known as camouflaging chameleon can also change its body color according to the surrounding grasshopper and stick insect are other examples of animals that show perfect camouflaging animals in danger Despite a lot of adaptation lives of several animals are in danger because of destructive activities of humans we are cutting down forest for our needs by doing so we are taking away the homes and food of animals thus many animals are in danger of dying out some animals like dodo and passenger pigeon have already disappeared from the earth such animals are called extinct animals animals like giant panda and tiger are in danger of becoming extinct such animals are called endangered animal